Okay, uh, the question was on how to set up face cap. Um, I'm starting off with a thumbnail here, um, but let's see how we do this. So you see um, my app here uh, on the left-hand side of the screen. I'll stop this right now, disconnect. So this is an OSC-based app. Uh, we take OSC commands. Uh, it can be, there's several, again, it's just like VMC. There's several apps that, uh, that do this. Um, I like this one. You gotta, it's, it's paid, but it's, uh, it's, it's, I, I can't remember how much it is, but it's, it's, it's well worth it. Uh, the reason why I prefer this over the free app from Epic, uh, Lifelink Face is just because this phone is older you know um and it overheats and i like to just have this on all the time just the way i have my uh, vmc app always running um so when i need to do a demo i can just quickly go in there and i don't need to set anything up that's that's the only reason uh so for this i'm going to show you how to set up both live link face as well as face cap so face cap super simple um you gotta press let's go to config first you don't need to worry about any of these settings you know this means you can kind of overrule the uh facial capture intensity but we already have this setting in here on the avatar site right so if i got this dude here uh i already have all sorts of multipliers that, that I can use uh, here. So there's no need to do that. Um, so all you do is literally press, um, yeah, there's, there's nothing on here. You can set it to different language or, or, or whatever. Uh, but all you do is press go live, then press connect. The free version allows you to do this for, you know, a limited amount of time. But like I said, I like to have this app all uh, on like always running. Uh, so, you know, this is my IP address and my port number. Um, when I go to the mocap, you'll see that that matches face cap. You know, I have my, uh, uh, my strength in here. So when I say connect, uh, it's tracking my face. <laughs> you see, and I can, I, I can intensify this if I have it like more subtle ah, ah, ah. Um, so yeah that's how that works on the you'll see that on the uh, this is a meta human base here um, I just like this metal guy um, but if you have a, um, a replicant avatar you can push this much more and you can really kind of make the mouth go crazy uh, but that's something for a different uh, tutorial so while i'm on it i might as well show how uh lifelink face works so here's lifelink face you do that through and and there's there's in your new version there's a lot of new ones you know you'll have microphone radical and also uh vmc support because you guys mentioned that not everybody has an iPhone, so with VMC you can you can use that as well. Uh, so you see Lifelink Face here. You already see the issue that I have. This phone is always on, and it's already complaining about the temperature being too high. Um, the moment I will start using Lifelink, it will go into the red and starts complaining. Uh, so with Lifelink, the cool thing about Lifelink is though that you can have multiple capture sources. So you could have multiple actors in here. If you have multiple iPhones, they will all pop up as a different uh, capture source. Um, with FaceCap, you only do one because it's an OSC command and that goes to uh, all avatars. Um, but yeah, this is, this is how that works. So here is very simple as well. You go to your settings, you set your number, you need to add a target. So this is your local IP address on your network. Um, protocol, yeah, just 4.25, that's good. Uh, I like to go live on startup. Uh, there's a couple of other settings in here that you might, actually, you know what, I, 
I'm complaining about OSC. So um, I've actually never tried this. It might be that it doesn't overheat using this, uh, but um, I haven't I haven't tried that. I just like that the simplicity of the other app. Uh, a big thing here is like stream the head rotation. You can see that. You know, you see like I'm moving my because I want to do some head banging. If I switch that off, you know, I'm not uh, getting the head rotation. In this case, I want the head rotation, so I switch that on. Uh, preview mesh record button. You know, like you don't need any of this uh, overlay video quality. Yeah, that, that nothing, nothing you know important that is being set here. Um, like I said, the only thing here is your local IP address and. It just works. Um, this is a button. So for example, when I'm sitting in front of the computer, I look like I look this, uh, this is like looking at the screen. So when you recalibrate, uh, that's how you do it. We now have, uh, some cool things to overrule the rotation and so on. So, you know, you can, you can fix things if you, if you want, uh, but that's, it's, it's not needed. Um, so yeah, this is how I do the face and then the body. I just have my, uh, BMC protocol. Um, and that's how I animate and, and, and do stuff. Um, maybe you're wondering about, yeah, these stages, there's, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming that we're adding. So we, we're basically, um, if you're doing the paid subscription, we basically want to just add each month, like new stuff. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of new stuff. So we're kind of doing some tests with tune shaders. So you can play around with, there's uh, a couple of new environments, uh, particularly the rock stage is a, uh, a cool thing. And then we got like sports and, 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 and so on all kind of prepped and, and, and ready to go. Um, we should be dropping that quite, uh, quite soon. But yeah, so let me just show you how I record this. Um, I'm going to add my guy to the track. Uh, and I'll do a, um, I'll do a body animation. Actually, I'll do just the upper body. Uh, and I will do one for the face. Reason why I'm doing this in three tacks is uh, uh, in layers is that I will use one. I'm a lazy bastard, so I um, don't leave my chair much. So I'll use some lower body animation. Uh, so let's say I got. I'm going to record the face now, and I I really like doing this in in passes. You can also stick everything in one body track, but let's say we want to have some animation here. Uh, okay. Then if I want to do the upper body, So now, I'm sorry about the music. I know it's not everybody's choice, but um, just needed to have something here. So now I've recorded these two tracks here. And I mean, the, the fact that this is coming from a cheap phone and, and a, um, a webcam is just awesome, uh, in my opinion. And, and, um, the more you kind of like stylize and, and push your characters to, 
uh, the realm of, you know, slightly less human, you, you know, you get away with, uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with, with a lot of stuff. So let's say, uh, see if I have some kind of a rock. What is this? That doesn't really fit. Uh, yeah, so say, for example, I want to combine this with a uh, hot rock guitar. Um, I now have an animation, you know, so with very little work. Um, and, and, and again, I must say, you know, this, this does not, in my opinion, does not replace um, mocap suits or optical stages you know in fact we, we we have both we have a bunch of different suits and we have a, a, a stage as well um, I just think that th th there's different use cases for all of that so um, don't be mistaken on that but you see what I have here now so I got a guy you know singing uh, his lower body is being used here it's a little bit too much movement but that's how you can build animation really, really quickly. And uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to see what you guys make. Um, definitely, the, I'm very excited about the new music video pack that's coming out. And I uh, really want to see what, uh, what kind of videos people are going to make. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks.